Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Since you can tell a lot about a person by where he or she lives, I thought I'd introduce myself by showing you my room. As you can see, I keep it pretty neat. Of course, I don't spend that much time in here. I always seem to be off solving mysteries. Anyway, here's my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That will tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. When Chantal told me you were just a young thing, well, I thought she was pulling my leg. But you're not much older than my little girl, Freddy. Well, if one of the people at the lodge is to blame for all those accidents, Chantal thinks somebody like me has a better chance of figuring out who it is than somebody more, you know, hard-nosed. Chantal has a bad habit of making up her mind without thinking things clear through. Uh, no need for you to tell her I said that, of course. Is she still in Edmonton? Afraid so. Insurance company's giving her and her lawyers a real hard time. Left running the lodge up to me. Which is why I'm not real crazy about the idea of having somebody new underfoot. Especially if something else happens. I won't be underfoot, Mr. Randall. And I may be young, but I'm no novice when it comes to solving mysteries. We're here, so you'll get to prove yourself soon enough. Ooh. You hear that? Well, now, what was that? Was anyone in the bunkhouse when it exploded? No, ma'am. Uh, everyone here at the lodge is accounted for. Oh, that's where Elsa and Becky had been living. Guess it was a good thing they quit after all. Elsa was my maid and Becky was my cook. Does the sheriff have any idea why the bunkhouse exploded? He said he'd know more after the lab was done running tests on the debris he'd collected. He did say the blast was pretty powerful. One of his deputies found the knob to the back door clear out on the highway. Oh, that does it. Nancy, you have to find out who or what is behind these incidents, and you have to do it fast. You sure you don't want to give your daddy a call? My dad runs a whole chain of resorts, Ollie. If you think I'm going to admit to him that I can't handle running just one, guess again. Besides, Nancy comes highly recommended, and I'm sure she's got a foolproof plan for getting to the bottom of this. Don't you, Nancy? Well, I was thinking that maybe I'd just be your new maid. You want to be my maid? That would give me access to everyone's room, and I could question people without making them overly suspicious. Oh, yeah! That's an excellent idea! All right, you're my new maid. In fact, you're my new cook, too. Your cook? Well, that way, Ollie can stop pretending he can even read a recipe, let alone follow one. You'll have even more excuses to talk to the guests, and I won't have to pay anyone. Why, well, I think that's a fine idea, ma'am. Now, we're not taking any more guests until this accident thing is cleared up, so I want both of you to make sure that the four guests we have are well taken care of. Especially that Olympic-caliber cross-country skier from Fredonia, Yanni Volstaya. The flair he brings to the lodge is just what I need to attract the European jet-setting crowd. I'm gonna be pretty busy trying to get rid of that wolf, Chantal. We heard it howl last night, just before the bunkhouse blew up. Well, do whatever you have to, Ollie. Oh, and Nancy? I want you to call this police detective I've hired as a consultant. I put his number on the phone there at the lodge. In fact, I think you know him. Tino Balducci? I gotta go. My lawyer's here. Good luck, you guys, and keep me posted. Coming! Tino Balducci! I'll get you a master key and leave it in your room. If you need anything else, I'll be in the basement.
This must be the key Ollie said he'd leave for me. And this must be a list of which guest is in what room. That'll come in handy. Skating pond maintenance. Oh, looks like I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything while I'm here. Report all avalanches to the avalanche patrol. Looks like Elsa was having major boyfriend problems. Chantal, this is my formal notice of resignation. Please call me at 555-2383 if you expect any delay with the check. Elsa. Contents deleted. Wonder why? This must be where I drop the laundry bag after I'm done cleaning all the rooms. Snowshoes owned and used by Trapper Dan in early 1900s. Bone which Trapper Dan found near the lodge. He believed it came from a race of giants known as Rexes. The bone's not there. Wonder what happened to it. Trapper Dan's Needle. Trapper Dan, seen here with his pet pig, Mary. Young and old alike have stayed at Icicle Creek Lodge throughout its 100-year history. Hmm, looks like some of the pictures are missing. Hello there. You must be the new maid Ollie told us about. I'm Bill Kessler. This guy's Lou Talbot. Hey. 
What's your name again? Nancy. Nancy Drew. Just thought I'd come over and say hello. Well, Lou here is a grad student. Art major of all things. You're probably gonna need a jackhammer and some hydrochloric acid to clean his room, eh? Are you two old friends? Not hardly. I've known Lou for all of, what? About a week, I guess. I checked in right after he did. We sat down after breakfast one morning and discovered that this fox and geese game is pretty darn fun. I've been whipping his tail ever since. Is this the first time you've been to the lodge? Yep, sure is. I came for the ice fishing. Of course, knowing there's a renegade wolf running around is kind of dampened my enthusiasm. Have you seen the wolf? Just heard it. Every night since I've been here, in fact. Gets creepier each time. They should get rid of it, and the sooner the better. They didn't put up with wolves prowling around this place 40 years ago, and they shouldn't put up with them now. What are you, Little Red Riding Hood? That wolf's not hurting anybody. People should just leave it alone. You'll be singing a different tune when it has some little kid for breakfast, then has you for lunch. Not gonna happen, dude. Trust me, if something bad can happen, chances are it eventually will, dude. Hey, I know what you can do. Shovel the snow off the skating pond so we can do some speed skating. Lou here thinks he's faster than me. You're like ancient. Of course I'm faster than you. You may have youth on your side, my friend, but I've been working construction since before you were born, which means I am more fit now than you will ever be. Get that pond shoveled so we can settle this, okay, kiddo? Consider it done.